Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the beginner photography class. Today, when you held the camera was happy to see and run the manual for the first time, but I noticed that there was a big difference between the material is seen and actual pictures. Today is for the last video when you start pictures part 1 and the following beginners to buy a camera and take pictures. Part 2. Beginners can buy a camera and start taking pictures. Today we will look at the composition of the picture, which can be the most basic. It is impossible to express the visible subject as it is, but if a picture taken in the same landscape is different from that of a professional photographer. How to split the screen Basic three division technology Rule of third As explained in the previous video, this is a method of configuring the screen in three divisions. This method is to take a balanced background in three divisions while viewing the screen vertically. As explained in the previous video, this is a method of configuring the screen in three divisions. This method is to take a balanced background in three divisions while viewing the screen vertically. Even if you don't need to measure it with a ruler or calculate it accurately, if you take a picture by dividing the screen into three parts, the picture will be stable and the visible background will look much better. looks simple in some ways. It is also a good idea to practice dividing the screen into three parts. When a friend interested in photography first bought a camera and asked how he could take good pictures. The selected grid displays on the LCD screen when you shoot in live view mode. Two, photo composition principle. Instead of hitting the shutter as soon as you see a great sight, you only have to think about it once before that. Great results can be achieved when the overall composition and lighting are adequate and the subject is accurately emphasized. First, the most basic thing is to divide the vertical line and horizontal line to balance the visible screen. Primero, lo más básico es dividir la línea vertical y la línea horizontal para equilibrar la pantalla visible. Second, you need to check where the light shining on the subject comes from and how it shines. It is important to know the intensity, brightness, direction, color, shape, and quality of the light distribution. En segundo lugar, debe verificar de dónde proviene la luz que brilla sobre el sujeto y cómo brilla. Es importante conocer la intensidad, brillo, dirección, color, forma y calidad de la distribución de la luz. Third, you need to find the subject you want. A good picture is to remove unnecessary objects. Subjecting requires simplification. En tercer lugar, debe encontrar el tema que desea. Una buena imagen consiste en eliminar los objetos innecesarios. Someter requiere simplificación. The following photo shows a burning candle. You can see the other candles behind the screen and the bokeh of the candles in front. The following are marked with red lines to aid understanding. Even if it is not visible on the screen, you can achieve a stable and emotional result by dividing the screen into three parts. 
The following picture shows the sky, the sea, and the sandy beach in Washington state. It is difficult to calculate it accurately and divide it into three equal parts. But you can make good work if you shoot in a roughly stable composition. This photo composition gives you a comfortable feeling. If you apply a little on the subject of the application, you can give a perspective on the background to create a different picture. You can emphasize the background in the center. Si aplica un poco sobre el tema de la aplicación, puede dar una perspectiva sobre el fondo para crear una imagen diferente. When it comes to composition rules, we often hear about the golden ratio and the rule of one third. These techniques, which have been projected a lot by classic painters, are effective in guiding the eyes of viewers around the image. Cuando se trata de reglas de composición, a menudo escuchamos sobre la proporción órea y la regla de 1-3. Estas técnicas, que han sido muy proyectadas por pintores clásicos, son eficaces para orientar la mirada del espectador por la imagen. What is the golden ratio? The golden ratio is a construction tool, also known as the Fibonacci spiral. The golden ratio is a part of all natural objects. It can be written as a mathematical equation. Prefer a harmonious image and the golden ratio is one way to take a balanced image. It keeps viewers interested in the image in a balanced way. Prefiera una imagen armoniosa y la proporción órea es una forma de tomar una imagen equilibrada. Mantiene a los espectadores interesados en la imagen de forma equilibrada. If you take a picture by dividing the frame into three parts, the result is stable. And applying this technique to landscape or portrait photography will give you a great picture. Dividing the frame into three parts vertically and horizontally is the most basic thing in photography. So you just need to practice these techniques before focusing. Breaking it down into three parts is not as easy as you might think at first, but the best place to practice is to take pictures of the buildings. In particular, city buildings are a good place to practice screen composition and to take pictures while thinking about various compositions. With a lot of these exercises, you will be able to take good pictures. It's easier to learn about photography and cameras if you can attend community college photography group classes or college classes. Today, I did introduce beginners to buy a camera and take pictures part 2, for the beginner photo mistakes by everyone. I have explained how to practice as simple and easy as possible. But if you understand this, camera shooting seems not that difficult. In the next video, I will show you some more informative aspects of photography.